Today I'm going to build these decorative box covers for a few items that I keep on my bathroom counter. Namely, a tissue box, a bathroom cup dispenser, and my Care of Vitamins, who also happens to be the sponsor of this video. Thanks, Care of. Alright, let's get to work. <laughs> I'm going to be building all three boxes out of a piece of cherry hardwood. So the first step was figuring out where I'd get the pieces from in order to keep everything as efficient as possible. Now one thing that you're going to notice soon is that it seems like I'm spending a bunch of time here marking out my pieces, and then as you'll see in a minute, they're all going to disappear when I move over the planer. Don't worry though, I took some pictures and made some notes so that I'd remember where to cut things. But anyhow, before I started planing and after I'd finished marking things, I headed over to the table saw to cross cut my one long piece into two shorter pieces. And then I headed over to the planer to mill everything down to a thickness of right around 3 eighths of an inch. With that out of the way, I headed back to my table saw where I broke the cherry down into 12 pieces that would eventually make up the four side pieces of each of my three boxes. I made sure to leave them oversized here so that I could refine them with bevel cuts a little bit later. But I guess first, since I haven't really explained it yet, let me quickly show you how these boxes are going to work, even though I'm sure you could probably guess. So like I said at the top of the video, these are basically just decorative covers. So each of the boxes is five sided. Four side pieces, a top, but no bottom. That's so that they can slip over their respective holders, the aforementioned tissue box, cup dispenser, and care of vitamin dispenser. Make sense? Good. All right, let's move on. So back at the table saw, I set my blade to 45 degrees and then made an angle mark on the end of each piece that I needed to cut. At this point, I wasn't marking where I needed to cut, just the angle. So these are really just to keep myself organized with respect to which pieces will make up which box, and to kind of ensure that I'm always cutting trapezoids and not parallelograms. With one side of each piece beveled, next I can mark out specifically where to cut my second bevels and to finalize the size of everything. The only oddity here was that I had to cut a little negative spot in the front panel of the vitamin dispenser so that I'd be able to get them out. That's this little piece you see me cutting here. The last thing to do was to cut a rabbit into each of the side pieces that'll eventually accept the top piece. Here you could actually do things a little bit cleaner by using another bevel on every end to totally hide the end grain, but I like this look, and honestly it's just a little bit easier and stronger. And with those cut, I could start gluing my boxes together. So these things are pretty small and delicate, so I just used the tape clamp method. I actually had somebody write to me recently saying that packaging tape actually works better for this. I think maybe because it's more elastic, so it kind of springs back and creates more pressure on the joint. I don't know. But either way, this works fine. Anyhow, after they had dried up for about 45 minutes, I started fitting my top pieces. In this shot, I'm making the top for the vitamin box. This was the easiest top because it's just a solid piece. So after it's cut to size, you can just kind of glue it in and Bob's your uncle. For the other two boxes though, they dispense from the top, so they needed some holes to allow them to function properly. So I decided to make these on the X-carve instead. To prep that, I started by measuring the piece of wood that I would use to yield my two tops, and then measuring exactly how big they need to be. Next, I hopped onto my laptop, opened up easel, and started drawing out the tops and the holes that I would need to cut in them. And then finally, I got everything set up and made the cuts. That took a little while, so while I'm doing that, I'd like to thank Care-of for sponsoring this video. If you're not already familiar with Care-of, they deliver daily vitamin and supplement packs customized to promote personal health and wellness. So before I received my vitamins, I headed over to their website where I took a quick quiz that took less than five minutes, where I answered questions about myself and what my personal goals or reasons for wanting to take vitamins are. 
Ultimately, and based off of my answers, I was given a recommendation of which vitamins and supplements were best for me. Now, at this point I could have altered the recommendation manually, but I'm smart enough to know that I know pretty much nothing when it comes to this stuff. And seeing as how Care of consults alongside a team of doctors from universities like Harvard and Tufts to ensure that their recommendations are backed by science, I was happy to take their recommendation over anything that I would have found out on my own. So I've been taking my vitamins every day now for about three weeks, and so far I'm loving it. If I had to name my favorite thing, it's honestly the convenience. Every morning when I'm in my bathroom, getting ready, I've made it part of my routine to grab a packet and down the vitamins right then and there, or throw them in my backpack so that I can remember to take them at lunch. For anybody that's ever tried to break a habit, you know how hard it can be. And honestly, starting a new one is just as difficult. That's why the convenience of something being in sight and in mind can't be overstated. And that's really why I wanted to do this project. Anyhow, right now Careof is offering my viewers 25% off of their first month. Just go to TakeCareOf.com and use the promo code 4Eyes. And if for some reason you don't like typing URLs, check out the link in the description below. Alright, thanks Careof. So with the tops cut out and glued on, later that evening I headed over to the router to round over all of my edges and just kind of make everything feel a little bit nicer. Then the next day, I cut two little recessed stripes into each piece. I thought this would give them a little bit more visual interest and help to kind of tie the three of them together with a subtle but cohesive aesthetic. And that was that. I gotta admit, it was really nice building these little boxes, or I guess in general just doing a smaller project, especially after all the big things I've been building lately. And one of the cool things is, you could build little dispenser boxes like this for pretty much anything that you wanted. Q-tips, coffee pods, salt and pepper shakers, other spices, toilet paper, cotton balls, baby wipes, shrimp, shrimp kebabs, Shrimp Creole, shrimp gumbo, pan fried shrimp. Deep fried Thanks for watching, and if you like this shrimp, video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Shrimp, Thanks. Shrimp, shrimp See you next time. Shrimp sandwich. That's about it, I guess.